enjoy my life, okay? Thank you for being here, guys. It is time to relax. It is time to relax. It is time to sit back. It is time to not to worry about a single thing. It is time to let go of whatever is holding us back in our minds. It is time to enjoy this moment and allow yourself to enjoy this single moment. So guys, firstly, I want to say a very big thank you for all of your support on the previous videos. Guys, you are just really loving this ASMR content, and I am really enjoying the whispering. I'm really enjoying it because I feel like it is closer to who I really am, and I get to connect deeper with myself and with the microphone and with you, and I get to just create a positive, relaxing space for you, which is so amazing, isn't it? But again, thank you for all of the support. Welcome to the channel. All of the new subscribers, you are in the right place. You are in a safe space, a safe environment where you can relax, where you can be yourself, where you can simply enjoy the present moment. Enjoy the present, okay? But anyways, guys, in this video, we are going to be speaking about the zodiac sign Libra, okay? Libra, 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 the zodiac sign Libra. Now, Libra is arguably the most beautiful sign because Libra is all about aesthetics. Libra is all about beauty. It is all about what looks good, what looks pleasing and appealing to the human eye. Um, also, you know, let me know in the comments what your zodiac sign is, what your big three is, and Let's just connect about astrology, okay? Welcome to a safe space to connect about astrology. You know, Libra, Libra is just one of my favorite signs. The ruling planet of Libra is Venus. Now, Venus is the sign of beauty. It's the sign of amazing and visually appealing things. It's the sign of more so connected to, you know, physical beauty and what is appealing to my eyes, what is what is physically attractive. Okay, this is Venus and Libra. Okay, the modality of Libra is cardinal. Now, what does this mean? Cardinal just means that Libras are more of an initiative sign. They are more likely to initiate things. They're more likely to get things going, get things started, and it is the seventh sign of the zodiac. So we're talking about cardinal, and we're talking about air. Okay, the element is air. Now, I have a strong bias towards air signs because I myself am an Aquarius, which is a fixed air sign. Air signs are just so amazing. Air signs are very intellectual. Air signs are typically very social. Air signs love to communicate. Air signs love to talk about things, think about things, you know, create new ideas, create new things. And specifically, Aquarius actually is you know, really about moving forward. Aquarius is a very innovative and technological sign of the zodiac, but we are not talking about Aquarius today. We are talking about Libra, and yes, yeah, so Libra, cardinal air, and you know, what is really interesting about astrology 
is that each zodiac sign is actually connected to a different region of your body. So this is really cool, isn't it? Libra is associated with your kidneys, with your lower back, with your buttocks, okay? Yes, Libra is associated with the buttocks. And I was doing some research and talking about how, you know, Libra women tend to have maybe more curvy or visually appealing buttocks. And yes, this is crazy, but it is true. This is how astrology works. It shows up in crazy ways like this. So Libra associated with the kidneys, the lower back, the buttocks, and again, this, this makes sense because things that are visually appealing, Libra women can tend to have the visually appealing area of their body, and men, Libra men, might have very strong lower backs, very strong backs, and I just think it's so cool how, how each sign, you know, has a specific body part and you can look around in your life and look at your Libra friends and just make these connections or look at your Aries friends and, and you know the the body part associated with Aries is the head so you know Aries you might look at your Aries friends and they have a very prominent head their head might be bigger or it just might be very strong like a ram okay and you know, what's, what's really interesting is actually the body part for Aquarius, which is the, the lower legs, the calves. Now, this really doesn't make much sense, but it makes sense because Aquarius doesn't actually make much sense as a sign because it's very unique, very out of the ordinary. So that is actually very fitting. But Libra, kidneys. So kidneys, right? That's kind of interesting. It's the excretory system in your body so releasing the fluids cleansing balancing the body the next thing we're going to get into about libra is the symbol for libra also let me know in the comments what kind of hand sounds do you guys enjoy i know you probably enjoy all of them but the fluttering do you, do you like the the rubbing do you like the tapping me personally i love the the fluttering the most okay but the symbol for libra is the scales so we think about the scales and the scales are all about balance you have to balance both sides of the scale in order to make the scale even, in order to make the situation even. You have to balance the scales. And I just want to say that this is something that I have noticed very strongly in Libra people around me, is that Libras really, really love to make things balanced. They love to make situations balanced. They look at both sides of the situation. They are very good at this. This is why they're very good in the realm of the law and law and order, right? So balancing the law, balancing the situation, they're very diplomatic. So they can see both sides, they can analyze both sides, and they are all about justice. They're all about making things right, making things fair for both parties involved in the situation. And, you know, this is something that I love about Libras. They are just so fair. They are just is so righteous in this way and I think it is a very admirable quality to have because they can be in the middle they are not straying towards one side or the other they can balance the scales 
make the, just make the situation right. And, you know, you look at the scales, and it's the symbol for the justice for the court, basically, is the scales. So, this is the symbol for Libra. And now we are going to get into a few strengths and a few weaknesses of the zodiac sign Libra. So, some strengths that Libra has. They are very good at resolving conflicts. Again, they are very diplomatic. They can resolve conflicts and, you know, they really have this desire, this urge to resolve conflicts. It's not like they don't want to do this. No, they are sort of built with this in their personality, which is another thing about astrology. It's that, you know, ultimately we are more than just our zodiac signs. But, you know, these zodiac signs, I believe, really accurately represent our personalities. They are going to represent our likes and our dislikes and things that we do, things that we tend towards. So Libras, they really tend towards resolving conflicts, making both sides equal, making both sides fair. Okay, this is what Libras are good at. And actually, we're going to get into a few weaknesses as well. So, the main weakness for Libra is actually indecisiveness. Indecisiveness, guys. Libras can actually be very indecisive. And this is where sometimes they can fall short. Sometimes they can. They can fall short. They can be indecisive if they really want something, but something else is also very appealing to them, and they just can't choose, they can't decide, because they have such a desire to make both sides equal, they have such a desire to make things fair, so they can't choose one or the other. The zodiac sign, Libra, is one of my top favorite signs. Of course, I am biased because it is an air sign, and I love air signs. I get along very well with air signs, and that's another thing we can speak about quickly is the compatibility with the zodiac sign Libra. So, so Libra's a cardinal air sign, right? And any air sign is going to highly resonate with any other air sign. So we're talking Gemini and Aquarius, the three air signs, okay? A Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And, you know, they're just gonna click, they're just gonna talk about things, they're just gonna energetically resonate, which I've actually noticed with a lot of Libras around me, is that we can connect deeper and just have more of that chemistry, more of that resonance when we really get to know each other. So those are the signs that are very compatible with Libra. Now the signs that might not be so compatible with Libra are going to be any water sign, um, any earth sign. They're not going to be quite as compatible with Libra. And also the signs that are at a square in the zodiac wheel at a square configuration to Libra. So the signs that are at a square with Libra are going to be the signs that um, might not be as compatible with Libra. And these signs are going to be Capricorn, which is Cardinal Earth, and Aries, which is going to be directly opposite to Libra, and Cancer, which is going to be Cardinal Water. So these signs might not be as compatible with Libra, and it's just how it goes. It's at a square, you know, when you get to a four-way stop when you're driving your car. It's very awkward. You don't know who's going to go. It's, it's more, it's more like tension, conflict arising, that kind of energy, okay? Not that Libras can never get along with these signs. It's just that 
you know, their relationship with these signs might be a little different, might be a little tense at times. And, yeah, basically the signs that are at a square is going to be Capricorn, Cancer, and Aries, which is just opposite to Libra. So, this is basically it about the zodiac sign Libra. Guys, we are in Libra season at the moment. It is October. Happy October to everyone. This is going to be a wonderful month for you. This is going to be a successful month for you. Things are aligning. Things are coming into place. Trust that in your life. If you are still at this point in the video, you are very special and I appreciate you greatly. And welcome to the channel. Welcome to this amazing space that we are creating together. Um, also, you know, we are in a new season at the moment, which I can make another video about. But I just want to say, you know, there might be a lot of change going on in your life. So welcome in this change. Allow it in and don't resist it. Enjoy it. Welcome it in. Accept it. And I want to remind you that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to work out. You are loved. You are appreciated. And I hope you are relaxed by now. So thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me talk about the zodiac sign Libra. Cardinal air, Venus, beautiful things, air sign. This is Libra, Libra is one of the most beautiful times of the season is when the leaves start turning colors and they turn beautiful colors and it looks so good and everything is just transitioning into fall and it just feels so good for some reason uh this is libra okay sending love your way sending positivity your way you are appreciated and make it a great day or not the choice